I can't worry about money if I'm dead. <laughs> I hope you guys can forgive the unusual way that I'm filming this, but there's a lot of unusual things happening right now, you know, like the world ending. So I'm sure we can make an exception. Let's talk about the coronavirus, shall we? As you can see, I'm not dead yet. And uh, I don't know on what insane planet I'm considered an essential worker, but I am. So up until today, I had to continue going into work. In fact, I even have a special letter. I'm gonna show this because like, I thought it was absolutely bananas that they put this on our website to print out. I'm just gonna see that. Critical infrastructure exempt worker certification. So, um, I'm a critical essential worker <laughs> because I work for an airline. Planes are still going out and airports are still open. Yeah, the flights are cut by 80% and the passengers are almost non-existent, but things are still going strong. Okay, strong is not the right word to use. There's nothing strong about what's happening to the airline industry. And uh, last I heard, my airline alone would need a $50 billion bailout from the government just to not close in the next couple of months. <sighs> they are offering unpaid leaves of absence for a month or two or three or longer. I was unfortunately forced to take one because it has gotten to the point where like, I can choose between continuing to earn money or I can choose between not, but surviving because it is almost guaranteed at this point that going into work, I would get sick. And I probably would survive, but if my grandma got sick, she wouldn't. And I don't know how I would keep from exposing her to the virus if I got it. That was really the part that worried me the most is infecting my family. My father is 63, my grandmother is 88. Um, but the, if they got sick, most likely they would not survive it and but the thing is even being my age doesn't exempt you like one of my coworkers has a friend who is a healthy 35 year old man who eats well and exercises and is not has no issues with his health i mean healthy as a horse and he got the virus and he's in the hospital and cannot breathe without oxygen so I don't think it's true that this virus is only strongly affecting the elderly or children it's indiscriminate. It's a virus. Anybody can get sick and anybody can die. With that in mind, I made the difficult option to take a leave of absence because I can't worry about money if I'm dead. <laughs> huh. Guys, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw that video by Stephen Hawking that we're overdue for something to wipe the planet out, like a natural disaster or a virus or the plague or something. And well, here it is, coronavirus. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're healthy. I hope everything's okay with your family members. Um, I obviously haven't been making videos for longer than this stuff got crazy, but that's because we started hearing about it at work a little sooner than everybody else because of the line of work we're in, airline, airport, air industry. So I... Uh, just have been focused on that and dealing with work and dealing with all the crazy things that have been happening and dealing with trying to stay safe and alive and uninfected and needless to say my giveaways are cancelled until further notice because I will not be working and I will be earning no money I can apply for unemployment my company is not contesting it but because I'm not fired I'm still an employee like I'm gonna be going back to work in May most likely I will be denied unemployment, especially considering how many people are applying for it now. The unemployment agency has gotten 3.3 million requests, which is the most that they have gotten since they opened in 1967. Because everybody is home because of the virus, because either they're fired or they're just too scared to go to work or they're not essential worker. Or in my case, they're an essential worker, but their company wants them to take a leave of absence to save money because they're drowning and well, here we are. There's really not much more I can say about this. You guys, I'm sure, are watching the news 
your own Twitter, your own social media, you see what's going on. Hopefully it is not personally affecting you the way it is me. But um, I, I, and I'm sure you guys know the rules as well, but just in case anybody lives in a bubble or under a rock and is not aware, let me give you a couple of really, really simple tips that we at the airline personally have been following to try to keep healthy. Number one, wash your freaking hands. I cannot tell you how many people in the beginning of this would say things like, I gotta wash my hands when I go to the bathroom now? What were you doing before? Were you not washing your hands after using the bathroom? You nasty? Ew. Yeah, wash your hands when you go to the bathroom. Wash your hands when you don't go to the bathroom. Wash your hands every freaking 30 minutes on the hour because there's a deadly virus around and that is how it is transmitted. It is partially airborne in that it can survive on surfaces, but the most part is transmitted through like, through snot and blood and like things like that, urine, faces. Mm, let's hope that's not a problem for any of y'all. But you know, number one is wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. You don't have to use hot water. It might actually be better not to use very hot water because the more often you wash your hands, the more it's gonna deteriorate your skin. And right now having open wounds on cracked skin because of how dry it is is not a good thing because the virus can get in. So when you wash your hands, use warm water, not hot. Use soap. It does not matter if the soap is antibacterial. It just has to be soap at least 20 seconds. If you don't know how long 20 seconds is, sing happy birthday to yourself in your mind, not out loud, because people will look at you weird very slowly, and when you're done, rinse off the soap, okay? Number two, if you're coughing or sneezing for any reason, do it into your elbow, not into your hand, or into your forearm. Cough like this, <laughs> sneeze like this, achoo. Not into your hands, not into your hands, for obvious reasons. Please, I'm begging you. That is the fastest way to spread the virus. If you happen to have it and you don't know, and you cough into your hand, and then you shake somebody's hand, and then they take the hand that they shook yours with and scratch their nose, they have it too now, okay? So please, for the love of God, cover yourself when you cough and sneeze, but not with your hands. Number three is they've been telling everybody not to wear masks, but that was so that the health industry would not run out of them. They are actually taking that back and they are telling you to wear masks now, especially if you are sick, so you don't spread your virus to other people. Like, you see how I am right now? I got the flu a few weeks ago, and yes, I promise it was the flu, it wasn't anything worse than that. But I started wearing this immediately, even at home, so that I wouldn't spread it to my parents and make them immunocompromised. So, if you're ill, wear a mask. If you're not ill, but you are working in a place that you are around people all the time, wear a mask. And it has to be an N95 or N99 mask, otherwise it will not work, okay? You have to look into that. If you cannot find a mask, they are still available on eBay. The way to make sure that you get one from a US seller is you sort the listings. Lowest price plus shipping, buy it now. Location, North America. That way it will come either from the United States or from Canada. Canada is still safe, they're our friends. Plus, you know, you won't really be able to get them from anywhere else anyway. Also, it does not hurt to wear gloves. If you can find gloves, by all means, wear them. But gloves are one-time use, so if you take them off, you throw them out. It defeats the purpose to put the same pair of gloves on as well. Number four, and this one is the most important one. If you have a fever of, of 100.4 or higher, Contact your health professional and see if you can get a test because one of the biggest symptoms of this virus is having a fever. In fact, I've actually been hearing that they won't even test you, for example, in New York City for the virus if you don't have a fever. But if you do have one, then definitely contact a healthcare professional or go to the hospital or reach out to one of the testing centers because that is one of the defining symptoms. Now, number five isn't a tip. Number five is just a list of symptoms. The most common ones are a fever and a dry cough. You can also have a runny nose, you can also have a wet cough, you can have chills, you can have body aches. But the most common ones that really give it away, I'm sorry I missed one, also shortness of breath, is having a fever of over 100.4, having a dry cough, and having difficulty breathing. If any of those three apply to you, seek a healthcare professional immediately, okay? 
I appreciate that you guys are still following me even though I haven't made any videos so much, really. I, I'm so grateful that you guys stuck around. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos. I won't really have a whole lot of content because I won't be going anywhere because I'm going to be trying to stay in my house as much as possible. But I am going to see if I can try to make more videos because I'm sure a lot of you are home right now and you're watching YouTube and you're trying to stay entertained and try not to think about what's happening. So I'll do my best to make some videos of something distracting, something that doesn't have to do with all of this to kind of lift your spirits if I can. But first and foremost, what I do hope for all of you is to stay healthy. I hope that all of us survive this. I hope that we all come out of this alive and healthy and okay with flying colors. I'm gonna hope and pray for the best. Hopefully you guys are doing the same. I love you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll put out new videos whenever I can. If you enjoyed this one, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I hopefully will see you next time as healthy as I am now. Take care, good luck, stay safe.